hello guys in this video we are going to look at how you can download landsat h imagery from the usgs website now landsat h it's a joint collaboration between nasa and the usgs and it provides seasonal coverage of the earth now you can you can visualize changes by comparing, I mean, two imageries for two different periods. Okay, so we want to download imagery, okay, for Accra in Ghana. Now, to do that, first of all, just visit their website. So you can just search for Earth Explorer. Search for Earth Explorer and then you can go to Earth Explorer and then you can sign up for an account if you don't have. I'm, I, I, I can just show you that um, in just a bit. Okay, so you, you have a login button here, help feedback, then login. So you can go into the login button and then. Um, sorry so yeah so you just go to login then you have an option here to sign in or create an account so you can create a new account and then you can enter all your account details and then you continue and then you receive um an email from uh, an a verification email which you can use to 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 create your account so i already have an account so i would just go ahead and just um login sorry i'll just go ahead and just log in so i'll just sign in okay um yeah so i'll just i'll just um go back to the earth explorer um earth explorer once i've signed i mean i've created an account i can just go to earth explorer and then i should be logged in now good so on the website there are several ways you can um, follow to be able to um, download your data now the first step is to get your your search area they provide several options where you can do that so you can just search for the name so world features here i'll just check world features so i can search for any place on the earth that is geocoded so i can just click enter and then it should give me a search result in this case accra so i can use accra as my search area my area my predefined area area i'm interested in then you can also upload um a file so you can upload a shape file or a kml with um the area that you want to uh, uh, search in this case uh, a polygon so just a single polygon on a shape file and a kml which you can upload okay now apart from using the geocoder and then the file upload option you can also specify an area so you can draw an area so you can i'll clear this okay so you can indicate polygon and then you can draw the area you are interested in okay now same for circle so you indicate a central coordinate or you can just enter them here you assign your search radius and then you can apply and then it gives you a predefined area and then you can also use this predefined um, area and i'm not going to go into it good so i'll go back to using um i'll clear this good so now i will use the world features and then i'll just search for accra okay so this is what i'm using for my area so accra now the next thing that i can do is i can um, define uh, a search uh, uh, date range so i want um imagery for two different days so let's say first january 2021 and then um today is 9 so 9 uh, december 2021 and then it will give me results for that area but in my case i am interested in the latest uh, i am interested in the latest um image imagery uh, without having to specify any range so okay once that is okay i will click on data sets i'll click on data sets 
okay now i would have to now specify um what uh, satellite i'm using so i'm interested in landsat and then i can go for either the collection to level one or they just released um not so long ago collection to level two so i'll select that and then i'll indicate i'm interested in landsat 8. so once that is done i can go ahead and add a, an additional criteria but i don't have additional criteria so i can just skip that not specify any criteria and then i can just go to results so here are my results now one thing that you have to um, bear in mind is that if you want to do some kind of analysis, so maybe vegetation analysis or land use analysis, you want to avoid um, imagery capture with cloud cover because the cloud cover would make it impossible, make it very difficult for you to analyze that area. So here you have all these different uh, satellite uh, capture and then you can have a snapshot preview, okay? So you have a snapshot preview so that you can uh, just at a glance see what you are interested in uh, whether you like the imagery or not so i will skip and then i'll keep session so i'm interested in one that uh, have less cloud cover okay so maybe this for me so i can just select that um yeah so i this is what i'm interested in now i can do this show point okay so now the uh, show footprint would give me the extent okay the area um where i am going to see the the the, the imagery okay so i have that and then now the next thing that i can do i'll just uncheck that is to see i mean an overlay okay of the area that i am i mean see the the, the, the satellite preview okay I mean how my satellite imagery will look like so in this case i have this and then i think this image is okay because i have less cloud cover you can see the green areas and then the brown areas okay so indicating the vegetation and then the the the, the land cover so this will be good for any analysis that i want to do now the final thing that i want to do is now i want to download my data okay so i can go to the download options and then I'll select the product options and then here I am. So I have all the files that I can download and then go ahead and then work with it. So you can download everything that is 808.57 megabytes. That's close to a gig, uh, close to yeah 900. And then you can download all of that and then you can use it or you can um, just download um, just what specific thing that you're interested in so you have various files like text xml and then so on so uh, in most cases you want to look at them i mean the file that has the, the 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 largest i mean size okay so that's in most cases it's is the file that you uh, uh, you want to use and in most cases it's, uh, it has a tiff format okay so guys basically this is what i wanted to show you so like i always do give you the chance to play around do your own stuff and just i hope you, you will enjoy using um your your satellite imagery in your next project see you in another video bye